What's going on everybody? It's Mike with Actuonics and today we're going to be having a look at our LAC board. As you can see, it comes in a static bag. Now, the board is out of the bag. The next thing you should do is go to our website, download the data sheet, pour yourself a hot drink, and read it. I'll show you where to find the data sheet. So to get to the data sheet, you're going to go to our website at actuonics.com and just type LAC into the search box. And the linear actuator control board shows up right there. Click on that. And then into technical specs. From here, you can download the data sheet, the USB configuration instructions, and a sample lab view program. Okay, now you've had a read through the data sheet, it's time to look at how to set up our board. The first thing to mention is the LAC board is only compatible with our P series actuators. It will not work with S or R series actuators. It will work with large scale actuators from other manufacturers that operate up to 24 volts and have position feedback. Now, you've got your board. You see these four blue pots here? The first thing you need to do is rotate them all the way clockwise. What this does is tells the board to load its factory settings when you apply power. Now I have a board that's powered up already, so let's have a look at that one. As you can see, I've got power supplied to the positive and negative terminals of the X6 block. The LED is not on. This is because the LED doesn't indicate that there's power to the board. The LED indicates that there's power to the board and it senses a recognized input signal. So you can power the board on, but you will not necessarily see the LED. Just something quick to note there. Now these four pots adjust the performance characteristics of your actuator. This one here is speed. You can speed it up or slow it down. These two are the end limits. This is the retraction end limit, and this is the extension end limit. So by adjusting these, you can give your actuator a custom stroke length. And this here is the sensitivity or precision control. Now anytime you make changes to these pots, you need to disconnect the power and then reconnect the power to save your settings. That means this power here from the positive and negative terminals and also, if you're using it with USB, disconnect the USB plug. So that's all we're going to cover in this quick intro video. In future videos, I'm going to walk you through the five different operation modes of the LAC and how to set up each. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up below.